everybody. Ah, it feels so good to be back on here. I haven't been able to do videos the last few days. Because you guys know with all the virus talk going on and all the things that are going on in this world because of the virus, I've been watching my nieces and today my one niece went home. Well, she went to her, her grandma's, my sister's house, so I only have the youngest. So, she's sleeping right now, so yay! <laughs> so I get a little break. But I have been going a little crazy. I'm not used to little kids, especially ones that are not potty trained. So, it's been an experience. Yeah. But, I just wanted to come on here and see how everybody's doing. I know this is scary times and crazy and all that other kind of stuff. Like, yeah. So, I haven't got a lot of reading done. I did get a couple pages read in The Beast of Biswick, Biswick by Amelia, Amelia Howard. I don't think I'm going to get this done before um, Saturday or Sunday when historical romances are with. So I doubt if I'll even get one completed. But I'm going to read as much as I can of this. At least to say that I participated even if I don't finish it. But I haven't got that long where I know what I'm thinking about it. So there's that one. I am also managed to get some reading of this done. I am... Um, tell you I am currently on 286 so I got like half the book to go about maybe a little less than half really enjoying it I'm liking it a lot more than the first time when I almost tried to read it which was almost like a year ago that I tried this book to read I'll tell you because I think I still have the date yeah 51819 so last May yeah it's almost been a year since I tried reading this book so and I didn't really care for it at the time. But now, I'm liking it. I still think my favorite character so far is James or Jim or whatever you want to call him. I don't know what you go by. J James or, J or Jean? Jen? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah but I, he's still my favorite. And I like, um, like I said, I do like... Um, Tessa? Yeah, Tessa. But she kind of like has that. I know this is back in the day, like really back, back in the day where, you know, a lot of women think that they're just supposed to be there for the men and stuff like that. And they're supposed to be sweet and mild and meek and not like fight or, you know, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, she was really driving me crazy at first with that. But now she's starting to get interesting, and I'm really liking her a lot more. I don't trust her brother, even though he's sick. So, I do not trust him at all. So, there's that. And I got me a couple of books recently that you haven't seen. So, I, I'm sorry about the light in here, you guys. I'm not going to tell you what these are about, because it's so dark in here. I can't read it very very much but the back says sisters strangers and survivors let me see if i can read the, i'll try to read it if i can't then i'll let you guys know but it says it's been more than 20 years since claire and linda last spoke claire is the glamorous trophy wife of an atlanta millionaire linda a single mother dating an ex-con struggles to make ends me but when but neither has recovered from the disappearance of their sister julia two decades earlier and the shocking murder of claire's husband brings the horror and the heartbreak of the past warring back into their lives the vanishing of a teenage girl and the killing of a middle-aged man almost a quarter century apart what could what could connect them as they form a way, I mean, a wary trace, truce, I mean, the surviving sister unearthed the secrets that destroy, destroyed their family all those years ago. And finding the astonishing truth when they least expect it. So, and this is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I've never read a Karen Slaughter book, but this one was over at Walmart 
the other day when we had to go get some stuff. So, yeah. The only thing is, this printed is looks like it's really little. Can you see that? Like, I know it's dark, but yeah. But I'm still very interested in it. Hopefully, I can read it. This is what the author looks like. And I also got this one. I, this is a used copy. This one I saw um, Gabby Reads read this one, and she loved it. I'm per almost positive it was Gabby Reads. I could be a tiny bit. May I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. And she loved it. She thought it was really good. And yeah. So I'm really excited about this. I know she like. Her. Her husband died. And she's pregnant. And her daughter is really sick. The one that I mean is. is um, has a heart defect or something like that. Yeah. And this is in 1970. I think um, like her. Sister's husband is a time traveler. And I think he's from the future. I'm not positive. I think it's the future. And he, but he decided to stay in the past because he fell in love with the sister and wanted to marry her. And he tells her, I guess, that she could go to the, to the present or something like, or the future and um, be able to save her daughter. Or might be able to save her daughter. So it looks very interesting. But this is by Diane Chamberlain. Never read her either. It's called The Dream Daughter. I don't see a picture of her. Sometimes I don't have pictures in here. So, yeah, there's no picture. Oh, no, there's one. It's inside. See? There you go. Okay, let me see. This says, but I'll read to you what it says. It says, Would Carly Sears, a young woman widowed by the Vietnam War, Receives the news that her unborn baby girl has a heart defect. She is devastated. It is 1970 and she is told that nothing can be done to help her child. But her brother-in-law, a psychic, I mean a psychiatrist with a mysterious past, tells her that perhaps there is a way to save her baby. What he suggests is something that will shatter every per perce perception, perspective, perspective, how do you say that, notion that Carly has. Something that will require a kind of strength and courage she never knew exists. Something that would mean an unimaginable leap of faith on Carly's part. It, all for the love of an unborn child. The Dream Daughters are rich, gender spin, gender spanning, breathtaking novel about one mother's quest to save her child, unite her family, and believe in the unbelievable. Diane Chamberlain pushes the boundaries of love and science to deliver a novel that you will never forget. Says Chamberlain writes with supernatural gifts, fate, destiny, chance, and hope combined for a hearty and breathless wonder of a read. So, yeah. This one looks like it's going to be real good. Gabby said it's real sad. So I'm really interested in this. So, it's another one that's really small print. And I am still going to participate. I mean, do my readathon this week. That you guys all know that starts tomorrow. But by the time you see this, it will be Friday. But yeah. And I'm thinking about careers still and which career I want to um want to do for the owls. If I have the paper here. I decided I'm not going to do the Hogwarts professor I was going to, but I really don't want to have like a whole lot of um, prompts because I want to be able to mood read as well next month. So, let me see. Let me see which ones. So, I have a few here that I'm going to. And I was wondering if you guys could give me your input, because I probably won't be able to do my, um, like, make my, this, I mean, like, do my TBR until next week for this. So, I was thinking, librarian, um, trader of magical tomes or something like that. I think it's trader, because it's cut off there. I don't want to read more than five books. Um, the magical tome one is four, four. 
The um, librarian is five. Um, then I got um, journalist or writer, which is three. And then I got astronomer, which is three. Um, my fingers will work. Wand maker, which is five. And I already said the librarian, right? I think I already said librarian. That's a better, a better, a better copy of the librarian. Some of these, like, really, like, but I didn't, um, like, I didn't, um, download every single thing, because there's, like, 30-something pages, and that's a lot, and, you know, with the virus going on, and not knowing, like, when we get to the store, and what we're going to be running out of, I don't want to use too much print, you know, paper for the printer, from the printer, so, and the library being closed and everything, so, yeah. So that's why I only downloaded certain ones. But there's a whole thing on G Book Rose's um, channel. If you guys haven't checked it out and you're interested in participating in April, it's always so much fun to do these. And with everybody being like shut in and not being to go places, these readathons that they're going to be having, why this is going on, why all the craziness in the world is going down, these is what we need, you know? is readathons like this. That's why I think I'm going to try, even if I can't, like, read every day, I think I'm going to try and do as many of my readathons, you know, my long weekend ones that I do, where I do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I think I'm going to be doing a lot of those because church is closed down now. So I have Sundays now that I usually go out and do something on Sundays, but now we can't. I know everybody's everybody's going through this, you guys. If we, you know, if we have our like readathons and you know stuff to keep our minds occupied, we're gonna get through this. We just gotta stay safe and you know do what we gotta do to keep the elderly safe. Yeah, it's just like a sad time, you guys. Like it's just so sad. And it's so scary to know that people are dying because of this virus and, and everybody's life is being changed because of this virus. But if we're all together, like I said, and we do these read-a-thoughts and things to keep our, our mind pre preoccupied, we'll get through this. I promise. Like, yes, we will. We just got to make sure that we take all the precautions in the world. To especially keep the like the um, elderly and the people that are sick that are more accessible accessible to get this virus. You know, my husband still works because he's a truck driver. He doesn't do like a, like you know like the kind that like where you take like goods like foods and things over or whatever. But the kind of thing he does is that if say his would be closed down for or his route. That they would probably have him do other runs. that Because his CDL or whatever it is that he has. His license that he has. Whatever you want to say. Is for. Um, you know. They can help other like other drivers. Like I said. That are doing like. You know. Like have to get like food to a store. Or something like that. You know what I mean. So yeah. So most likely. He should be fine. But you never know. So. What else did I want to talk about? But, um, let's see. Hopefully my owl crate will be here Friday or Saturday. Um, and I can do that for you guys. <sighs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know really what more to say. I will try to, if I could get Talia to take a nap tomorrow. I will try to read some and update you guys on what I read and stuff like that. Or try to do at least vlog some of it. But yeah, you can tell my hair. Pretty soon my hair is going to be, you guys going to see all this. Because 
with everything that's going on, I don't have no way to get this cut. I don't have no way to dye it unless I can find some hair dye on the shelf. And my man will do it for me. But who knows, people are probably stocking up on the hair dye. <laughs> Since they're probably not going to be able to go in and get it done, you know. For a while, who knows. But yeah. I know our church is doing like, why we're not like on isolation completely. Even though they're closed. Like the build it is itself. They're doing like a drive-in. Like really, our, that's what they're doing. Like you can pretend like you're at the drive-in. Get it and stay in your car. You can um, listen to the sermon on your radio while you're sitting in the car, the church parking lot. And then they will have like, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know if they're going to do it like specially or something like that. But they said they'll have communion like where they'll give it to you sa safely. So I'm assuming they might put it like in a box or something maybe and just give it to you that way or something. I don't know exactly, but I don't know if we're going to go there. If we don't do that, then they have um, Facebook Live where they do church services. So, yeah. And if I can't watch, if I don't watch it, like, at, in real time, then I can watch it later in the day. So, that will help with church not being in service. I got plenty of books here. I know Scribe, Scrib, or how you say it, if you, if you find that one link, there's like a link. And you could go in there for a month. Get a month free of script. Scrib, scribe, scribe, how you say it? And you don't have to give a credit card. All you do is go to that link. And yeah. So, and I know, um, Elbrium or whatever that one is that down, that you can download audiobooks from them. They're doing like, um, you get two for the price of one. I mean, you get two books. For, yeah, you get two books for the price of one that you could download. And I think all the money they get is going to go to charity or something like that. So that's neat. Um, I heard about, like, the president might be giving us, like, giving um, taxpayers a couple of checks. Like, 500 one, and then another 500 one or something like that. I don't know how true that is. But um, I heard about that. So... And um, we just did our taxes on Tuesday. Thank the Lord it was still open. So she's like, we're probably going to get the order any time that we can't do any more um, tax stuff. And, um, yeah. I had to take Tally and Ari with us. And they couldn't play with the toys. Well, of course, I can understand that. But she said, you know what? We just bought these toys. Like, they're brand new. And we were told, nope, you could not have those toys down. They have to be put up. Which you could understand, of course. They had to take all precautions. But yeah, so she said, and things are just like every day they're finding out something new that's got to take place and stuff like that. So yeah, she just said she don't know if it's going to be open much longer. So yeah. And she was like, I don't know when you guys would get your check. She said that people were getting it, like, really quick, like, within five days, if they did your rec posit. But she said, our, she don't know if we'll get ours in five days. She said it could be a while. So, yeah. But, yeah. I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. But I'm going to end this here, because I'm going to try to read some more of, um, of, um, <laughs> I know, it's like it's Clockwork Angel. I think it's Clockwork, yeah. And hopefully I can vlog, vlog it and you guys can, starting tomorrow, I can vlog and you guys will be able to see it. Excuse me, but I know no matter what, I'll start vlogging it. I'll at least vlog it Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Because like I said, Tally's dad will come and get her. And then I will at least be free from kids for a week. I might have her one more week. Because um, this, when her dad comes and gets her on Saturday, he's going to have, I mean, his, like, sister and mom and stuff are going to help him for a week. But then, because him, him and his wife, I mean, him and their, I mean, and, and his wife are divorced. My niece has been married so many times, so many times that she's only, like, 30-something, like, 31, I think, 30, 31. 
And yeah. So she's married now again. But we won't get into that. But yeah. So um, they're separated like I was saying. So he, this is his week coming up. Starting Saturday. So he has it for a week. His family's helping. But then she's supposed to um, get him again. After that week. But she has um, a couple more weeks of school or work, whatever it is that she's doing that she couldn't, and that's why she couldn't keep them, you know, with her this week. So, yeah. So I might have them again the first week of, I think that would be like the first week of April, I think. So I might have them that week. We shall see. But yeah. Um, I think that's it. But let me know what one you guys think I should go for. I'll tell you one more time what they are. We got Librarian. Um, we got Wand Maker, Astronomer, Journalist or Writer, and Trader or something like that, a Magical Tome. I was leaning towards, more towards, um, either, um, astronomer, journalist, or writer. Yeah, those are the two I was leaning more towards. Or, um... Or, um, what was the other one? Or, um, no, that wasn't it. That's five. That's five. Four. Yeah. Or this one that has four, which is, um, Trader of Magical Tones. So. Those are the three that I'm like really, really torn through, torn up, torn. But I would also do, um, but I'm also interested, like I said, in the librarian and wand maker. Yeah. But out of, the, out of those two, I would prefer the librarian over the wand maker. But, yeah. But if you guys have an opinion on what you think I should read, let me know. And, I might, and I'll probably do that. Otherwise, I might just put all five of them into a cup. And pick out two. And pick out books for those, um, those two. I mean, those two. And then... And then go from there. Like maybe I could try to um, do astronomer. No, not astronomer. Yeah, astronomer. Maybe I'll go with. Or do you think I should do two? I could do journalist of writer, which is three. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I'm wrong. One, two, yeah, which is three. Journalist or writer, which is three. Or astronomer, which is three. I could do both of those if you guys think I should do that. Then that's only six. Or I could pick books for each of those and then, like, read the six if I could get to six. But at least have a backup in case, like, I don't get, I'm in a mood where I don't want to read certain books, you know. And I have a choice for the other one. Because for astronomer, it's arithmetic, astronomy, and history of magic that you have to take. For um, owls, it's history of magic, muggle studies, and one other subject. This one, I kind of is more. Um, I think it would be like should be my ideal one because I remember when I was younger, I wanted to be a writer or a journalist, but then you know that was when I was young. So yeah, so maybe I would do both of these. I don't think any of them are, let me see. Yeah, none of these are, um, like, um, what's that word? None of these are, like, have any of the same prompts, like I said. Because, like I said, the astronomer has 
arithmetic, astronomy, and history of magic. And like I said, journalist is history of magic, muggle studies, and one other subject of your picking. I'm really leaning more towards this one, but I want your guys, as I, you guys to give me some idea on what you guys think I should read. I mean, not read, but, you know, which which um, career you would do. Or do you think I should just throw all of them into a, into a cup and go from there? I don't know. Let me know. But I'm going to let you guys go. I didn't mean for this to be so long, but I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Feels like forever since I've done a video and I don't want to be out of practice. So I wanted to do kind of long one just in case I don't get another one up for a little bit. But yeah, please, you guys, don't do anything crazy. Don't go out unless you have to. And if you do have to go out, please be careful and, you know, stay the distance that you're supposed to stay from people. And... I mean, I'm sure you guys could go still in, like, if you have a backyard. I'm sure you could still go for walks unless you're in completely shut down. Like, maybe if you're not completely shut down and you're, but you're too scared to, like, go to, to the, to the store or something like that. Then maybe you can just go for a little walk in your area and just, like, make sure you stay, you know, behind people if anybody else is walking, you know. But you guys need to at least get a little bit of sun. So even if you don't have like nowhere to walk, maybe you could go stay on just in the front yard for a few minutes. Just make sure you keep your distance, you know. But yeah. Because uh, I know if this is going on for a while and we're allowed to at least go out in the back or the front, I will definitely be going into the um, backyard because I got my hammock out there when it starts warming up and I'll be on my hammock a lot but yeah hopefully we're not completely shut in because Rowan will want to go for walks but luckily we got that fenced in yard so if we can't walk him he can at least go in the backyard but yeah that is it I'm sorry this is so long hope you guys are like I said staying as safe as possible try not to I know that you guys are curious that a lot of people are curious about the virus and what's going on like, don't be spending your whole time, you guys, watching the news or listening to the radio or being on social media. Like, try to, like, you know, go into your room and have a little quiet time like I'm doing right now. You know, um, like I said, maybe if it's nice, go out into your backyard if you have a backyard. If you don't have a backyard or you don't have a front yard, then maybe you could just go still, like, out and stand somewhere just for a couple minutes just to get some breath breath fresh breath air or a lot, hopefully you have like windows or something that you can open up for you can at least get you know but yeah you guys can find plenty of things to do that you're not watching every single time i think i read something like that 12 that the thing usually changes like every 12 hours so like usually if someone gets sick the next time they find out about anything is like 12 hours later or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but so just go on twice a day or three times. What I usually do to just to keep up on stuff, I'll like first thing in the morning when I wake up, I'll check. In the afternoon, I'll check. And then before I go to bed, I'll check and see what's going on. And then other than that, I try not to listen to anything else, you know. So, yeah. But hopefully this won't last as long as they think it's going to last. Because they said it might last until like July or August. So pray, you guys. Uh, even if you're not religious, pray that. Still pray that. Or do whatever you do for faith. I mean, for your, you know, for your, I don't know what you would say. But whatever you do, you know. If you don't believe in God, then just pray for something else. I mean, not pray, but, you know. Like, meditate? I don't know what you would do, but whatever you do. I don't know, because I've always, you know, been religious, so. I'm not, like, crazy religious, though. Like, I don't, um, you know, I don't, um, like, practice. Don't worry, I'm gonna go wash my hands after I'm done, but my face is itching right there. But anyways, I don't, um, I'm not, I don't practice religiously. That's what I should say. But I'm gonna let you guys go. Let me know if you... If anybody else has participated in the readathon and what you're reading for the readathon, 
And if you're doing the owls, have you decided yet what you're going to be reading? Let me all let me know all this stuff, you guys, because I miss you guys very much. I miss doing these videos. And I hope you guys all have a great day as you, I mean, night as you possibly can. Like I said, try to do other things to get your mind off of everything that's going on. I know it's hard, but if you get off social media for a while, if you don't watch the news, like, 24 hours a day, you know, yeah, just find something to help you cope, please. I love you guys all so much. I appreciate you guys. I'm here with you guys. I'm going through the same thing as you guys. Maybe some of us aren't going through as hard of a time because some of us aren't in lockdown yet, like complete lockdown. But the way it's going, everybody's probably going to get there. So, just remember, we're all here to help one another. So, yeah, I love you guys very, very much. And I'm here, you guys, even if I'm not um, posting a video or something like that, there's older videos, just post on that and let me know how you guys are. And I will comment back, even if I'm not, post even if I'm not doing a video. But, yeah. Thank you, guys. For all your guys' support. All your guys' love all the time. And. I love you guys. Like I said. Very much as friends. And. I can't wait to start this readathon. I can't wait. To start other readathons. That are, other people are doing soon. And. Yeah. I love you guys. So. 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 So much. Please remember we're all in this together. Okay. And I will talk to you guys later. Remember, you guys, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing to become part of my beautiful family here. And, yeah. And remember to hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. And I should be back in a few days to do an owl crate unboxing. Take care. Bye for now. Lori out.